Hey there, it's Peter Allen here at Macedon Valley Farm. We're out here in the pasture. We just went up into these woods here. We cleared an area for a fence for the cattle. Uh, and in the meantime, to clear the area, we had to cut down a few trees. So we just came in and pulled the logs out of an ash tree and a black cherry tree. We're getting ready to head back to the mill and mill those up into braces for our timber frame. But I stopped here because I saw this fence post and I had forgotten that I had put these step-in posts here about three years ago. And we used this to subdivide and then I used a different scheme after that to subdivide fences and kind of left these fence posts here. So they've been just sitting here in the ground for the last three years. So what's cool when this happens is that it gives me an indication of what's happening in the soil whether the topsoil layer is coming up, if we're building topsoil, or whether it's eroding away, we're on a really steep hillside here. And so generally, under conventional management, this is the area where topsoil is lost. It erodes down the hillside in storm events. When this is conventionally grazed, grass is short, it doesn't hold on to soil very well, soil ends up down in the floodplain, and you get soil accumulation down there from erosion, and erosion up here, and you lose topsoil. So in a conventionally managed system on a steep hillside like this, we would lose soil every year. So having this fence post in the ground, because it's a step-in post, which means it has a tread that you step in with your feet. So when you put it in, you know where the topsoil level was when you set that post. So three years ago, I set this post. There's a black tread at the bottom of this post. And so I can put my fingers, right, Doug, we'll clear the vegetation out of the way. We can see this is topsoil right here. Oh, there's some thistle seeds. So we'll see if they germinate. So, but this is the topsoil right here. So I can put my fingers right here. I'm gonna pull this out. Oh man, it's hard, cause I gotta get that tread out. Ugh. All right, so we'll clear the, see there's a nice earthworm here. They're digging it here. This is a broken post when I put it in the ground. But you can see, so this is the level where the topsoil was three years ago when we tread this foot, this post into the ground. And then up here where my thumb is, is where the topsoil is now, which means in the last three years, we've accumulated about two, two and a half inches of soil. Just about an inch a year, maybe about three quarters of an inch a year. Because we're rotationally grazing, you can look at this pasture and see there's monarch butterflies on the bergamot right now. We have an incredible diversity of plants. We have, uh, it's, this paddock has not been grazed in two weeks, so you're seeing what two weeks of regrowth looks like after a grazing event. Uh, which would have been two weeks ago. We've got a lot of vegetation here. We don't let the cows eat it too low. We never let them eat more than, you know, the top three or four inches off the grass before we move them to the next paddock. Uh, and when we do that, we can rapidly build soil from the bottom up and from the top down because they trample a lot too. So uh, it's neat to be able to have experiments like this to be able to track our progress and see where we're going. When we first got here, there wasn't near the diversity in this field and the grass was kept much, much shorter. And I don't know whether the topsoil was eroding or accumulating, but I would have guessed that it would be eroding based on the stocking density that was, was here when we got here. So um, it's pretty cool to see even on a steep hillside where you know, gravity really wants to erode topsoil, it's really cool to see that not only can you stop the loss of topsoil, but you can actually accumulate topsoil even on a steep slope, which has got me really excited and uh, excited for what that means in the long term for the several hundred acres of land that we're managing here, how much topsoil we're building, how much biodiversity we're, we're creating habitat for. Uh, there's a nice dragonfly right there perched on the dead branch. And uh, it's just great to see, to see the, the fruits of our labor out here. So now let's get to the mill and mill up these braces. Oh yeah.